Cyclone Harold is currently a category 3 or 4 on the Saffir Simpson scale and it is off to the west of Vanuatu, these islands, and it isn't moving very fast as you can see. Essentially what this means is that this is a category 3 or 4, probably more likely 4 by now, a uh, hurricane system essentially. It's just that it's spinning the other way and in a different location. On the local scale, which is the Australian scale, it is a category 4 as resolved. The scales are a bit complicated and um, on the Australian scale it's based on the 10 minute sustained wind speed and the Saffir Simpson scale on the 1 minute sustained wind speed. And you do not look at the wind gusts. Vanuatu has significant terrain, a mountain range along its west coast and uh, the highest mountain I think is 1,700 meters um, and the storm is probably interacting with these mountains in some extent, probably uh, difficult to tell but um, these are a potential impact, can have a potential impact on the system including deviating the winds a little bit and adjusting the intensity or possibly weakening the storm later. Let's see where the models are taking this storm. This is the European Center model and it wants to take it between the two northern islands of main islands of Vanuatu but uh, as you can see it's missing the island with the capital. The global forecasting system model on the other hand takes the storm further towards the south uh, just a tad and makes landfall over that island. And the island is Malekula. So that is the most likely landfall. And if you look closely at the Joint Typhoon Warning Center map, you can see the storm making landfall on the late on the 5th. Um, that actually is probably the 6th morning. Uh, and the intensity they have as 150 knots, which would make it a category 4 hurricane strength landfall. A Category 4 hurricane strength landfall means that catastrophic damage is possible in certain areas where the eye wall makes landfall. And in particular, it's the northern side of the eye wall in this case. So keep an eye on that eye. And there's likely to be extensive taking down of trees if the storm makes landfall as a Category 4 hurricane, as well as extensive structural damage and a lot of areas getting cut off uh, a lot of potential problem i'm not sure how many people actually live on the island so let's check it looks to me as though the west coast of malakula is relatively sparsely populated so yeah i can't see too much there are probably some yeah there are some small communities that are this place lembin wen and wintour that are at uh, in the most more vulnerable positions the island of Malakula, Vanuatu, has a population of about 23,000. Um, looks like it's an interesting place. I've never been there. A high-resolution hurricane wharf simulation has been run for Harold. And what we're looking at is where it's the orange, it's a Category 3. And then where it's this dark orange, then it's a Category 4. So you can see an initialization. You can just see a little bit of Category 4 hurricane strength in there. As we go forward you see it come down and in the Hurricane Wharf it actually goes around Malakula uh, or rather actually impacts the southern coast with the northern eye wall of the storm and then goes into that island which I don't know what that is. So there's some dis differences between the models at this point still um, but uh, certainly Malakula landfall in some form or another. So the landfall on Malakula, if it happens, is at a little after 6th, on the 6th at 6 UTC. And I don't know what the time zone is here. But uh, if it takes that deviation towards the south, then that will put the island of Il Namuka. Is that Il Namuka or the town of Il Namuka? Anyway, that area will be in the firing line and the further really far deviation north and then it would be more threatening towards the capital. So definitely uh, we need to keep an eye on the next 24 hours to see how this thing 
how far this actually deviates to the north. It's very slow moving and it's a bit of, tr bit of a tricky one. So just a quickie one from me today. Um, stay safe out there. This is a very, uh, look at it wobbling around. Strange storm. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, then you may find other videos on this channel of interest. Hitting the like button and subscribing really helps to support this channel. To get the latest videos, don't forget to enable all notifications. 